Big Game Jesse P. JPEG. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Get Energy. JPEG in the building. Now listen, Pigula having a pretty darn good season, guys, right? Now, after winning her second championship in Mexico last year, she had big expectations coming into this season, right, guys? Especially after a abhorrent performance in the uh, WTA finals on American soil. Pegula came into the season riding a high, winning the United Cup, taking out Iga. Big, bad Iga. The Australian Open rolled around and she made it to the quarterfinals there. She made it to the Doha final, right? A rematch with Iga. She made it to the Dubai semifinals. Kuchika would go on and win that. Round of 16 at the Indian Wells. Semifinals in Miami. Semifinals in Charleston. In Madrid, she made the quarterfinals. Quarterfinals in Eastburn. Quarterfinals at Wimbledon. She's a walking quarterfinal. I'm trying to tell you guys. She had success at Washington, making the semifinal. She won Montreal, her second Master 1000 event. And look, round of 16 at the U.S. Open, not too shabby. She made the Tokyo final, where Kudamatova defeated her. Look, Beijing, round of 16, but listen, as a seeded player, she only won one match there. And in another final here, guys, this would be her fourth championship it seems like she should have a lot more i'm aware but four look not too shabby jessica pegula taking on you yan now i've been talking about yan a lot lately right now she's 25 right in her mid-20s 29 win season came off of a 44 win season and yan is balling guys we saw yan make the mexico city itf final that's a good performance there and then look Bit of a slow, rough streak there, but when once we hit the United States and Stanford, she made the semifinal there, and then she's here in the final in Seoul. Now, this is a matchup here where Jan finds herself here after taking out Keja Yuvan, Iga's bestie, Marie Buskova, that was a shocker, and Bedkest. This is the type of match here where, listen guys, Pigula made it short and sweet, too strong, too experienced. In this match, Jan tried to play the lines. She tried to pin Jessica deep, but she she didn't really have the power to really keep Pegula off of her. Jan did have some opportunities to break Pegula, but that was early on in the match. And I just felt Pegula just needed to get warmed up. What do you guys think? Did you see the match? Probably not, because that's why you're listening to this video for the info. Now, Pegula won nearly 70% of her first serves to Jan's 55%. Pegula did win nearly 70% of Jan's second serve, 67% to be exact. And she just controlled the break points. Every time Jan had an opportunity to break Pegula, for the most part, she saved them. I just felt you saw the expertise of Pigula today just dominate the younger lesser experienced player and yes they're only a few years apart technically but Pigula is just a much superior player at this point of her career and congratulations guys the second best American that's right behind Corey Coco Golf Grand Slam winner is Jessica Pigula JPEG an amazing player she's happy she deserves it young she was just doing the stanky leg all day she couldn't keep up with Pigula's power Congratulations, Jessica. Always classy. That's number four.